So welcome to the Spiritual Healing 2 class. So the other class just ended a couple of days ago, or no, that's already a week. Oh my God, time flies. No, we did that on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe it. Um, so there's no such thing as time, obviously, and I don't connect the dots anymore. So for me, it's looking back is like, oh, don't ask me to do that. <laughs> So I'm really happy that you're here and that we can take this time together to to do something pretty amazing. And that is uh, stepping back. We actually learn the best to step back in this class. It will be the most direct way of stepping back. And it's like, okay, so I'm trying to get an idea about what is happening with spiritual healing and you ask me to step back. Yes, indeed. So the stepping back is a real beautiful one and that is like um, setting yourself free from all limiting ideas that you hold in your mind. All the ideas that occupy your mind for no reason other than to occupy space. And um, so step by step we come to Let's say introducing the idea of um, like giving space to our miracle mind, to our yeah, to our new consciousness. And this new consciousness is not really new, but it's it is new to you. That's why I call it a new consciousness, and it's which is a healing consciousness. So, what we use in this training in this class that when we come together is the miracle healers handbook which is part of the or text of a course in miracles or the course in miracles in general and uh, the art of spiritual healing from joel goldsmith and whatever ever else comes to me to share with you and um because i don't want to fix myself into a certain thing here um so like I said, we're entering into a space where we actually can communicate. As humans, you don't really communicate. You use a lot of words, and but there's no direct, like direct understanding. There's no direct communication. So, to to let the human part of our communication communication go, but entering into a direct communication where you actually start to know what I'm going to say because you're present. You know, it's like that is the place where we directly communicate. You actually already start to know what I'm going to share and and recognize words that I'm using or references like, oh my God, this, this is totally for me. I cannot believe it. How, how do you know this? Or how does this develop? So this has everything to do with recognizing that we're actually one mind. We're of one mind. So as human beings, you do your best not to would say to acknowledge that. So you develop a separate identity. But in spiritual healing and coming to the place where actually healing takes place, it is like, no, there's no, uh, there's no separation. No, there's only one mind. And it's communicating perfectly and directly, instantaneously, like with no uh, latency, no delay. And you will discover that. That's really awesome to discover because it's so much easier than trying to explain something in an intellectual way with everyone having his own associative say background culture background who knows what like that all shaped you as that shaped your way of listening now this has nothing to do with that this is non non <laughs> it's like non babylon communication it has nothing to do with language in the first place it has to do with recognition and awareness 
See, now we're diving already deeper into your consciousness. No, it's not anymore about the superficial human communication. That That is no communication at all. That is like flat and not alive. And we're sinking deeper into our stillness, into the place where we can communicate and where our mind is like wide open, where you actually start to feel the stirring of spirit in you, where you feel that there's light and love and, and that you don't have to protect yourself, that you don't have to understand what's going on. Now you're completely part of it. This is you expressing yourself. And whether I'm the one speaking or not, it really doesn't matter. Whether you are the one listening or not, it doesn't matter. Like, you're it. You're, you're all of it. And so that makes it easy for me to, to say things that are directly related to you. Because that is starting to happen now in your mind. You start to relate to that, to the one mind, to your Christ mind, to use another word. So spiritual healing is, is coming from a deep place inside yourself, not to heal anyone. No, it is, it is really like the recognition of oneness altogether. It is the recognition that there is nobody outside of you, that you're, say, connected to source, and source is expressing itself through you. And your recognition of that makes it possible to to take that with you as a healing consciousness, including everything and everyone into that. So, wow, well, it's a lovely activity. That's a lovely way of being present. And uh, it is the only way that you can feel alive, literally. Like this is the place where you actually come to life, where you're raised from the dead, from the dead human thinking, from the dead intellect, uh, thinking um, and you you leave your associative patterns for what they are you're not using them like oh yeah i recognize that from then and then and this and this and oh no no you're not going to do that you just leave it right here you sink deeper into your stillness into the place where it's so bright and so clear that i don't even have to say anything and we communicate so that might not directly be the case. That's why I will use words. Um, but uh, in the end, you will see it, it really is not necessary in order for you to, to co start, communi commu yeah, start communication, start communicating. See, and the communicating that you're used to as a human being is always like horizontal. But the communication I'm talking about is the recognition of oneness. And oneness is not uh, is not a two dimensional communication or three dimensional. No, it is. It's like multi dimensional communication, and and that means there is no time involved, there is no place involved, but also there is a recognition of a true source involved. And the real communication is in fact the recognition of this one source that is literally the source of all and and recognizing that makes you s like so happy and s just so grateful that that you disappear into light into that um, in the in the communication that is taking place so seem like well I don't know what you're talking about or maybe you recognize some of it maybe you recognize it not at all. That is really okay. That really doesn't matter. So because this this class that we do is pointing to this, what I'm sharing with you, that's why it's good to to open your mind for the possibility of it. And do you need a lot of study for it? Who knows? I'm not going to determine that right away. Or what is necessary for it, for me? in order to, to hear and to be part of this in, in a way that's really helpful for myself. That's what you're going to discover. You know? And how well can I apply this in my daily life or in my practice or in my, like, even that you're going to see. See, the beautiful thing with, with truth is that 
that it is. It is it is present. It is presence in itself, and it is it is you in itself. So that that has a very specific quality, a quality of expansion of all inclusiveness. And and what? Why do I say this? <laughs> why am I expressing it this way? Basically, I'm telling you, like, you take this, what I'm talking about, with you wherever you go, no matter what you do, no matter who you meet. You can't lose it. It is always with you. It is not always in your awareness. That's why it seems like it is lost or it's, where is it? I don't know where to find it. That kind of thing. So all this does not matter because you you did not lose it but you want to have like uh, a different approach uh, uh, there must be another way of coming to know this and see that is exactly what i'm offering here that is exactly what is available and that is has everything to do with with miracle procedure the miracle procedure or the say the Jesus uncertainty principle. In your not knowing is all your knowing. In you opening your mind is all everything possible. In you uh, stepping back, the light steps forward. In uh, on and on, you know, it's like, okay, so that's why I said in the beginning, stepping back is one of the greatest things we're going to learn and teach here because and there, that's where all the power is and comes from. And it doesn't mean that you're not part of it, but you will be part of it in a total way, not in the way that you think is the best for you. And that makes the difference. That's why you need to say, step aside from your own ideas, step aside from what you think is going on in order to experience what is really going on. I think I said that pretty clear. See, that is that is very clear in my mind uh, because of the, um, yeah, the experiences I have. So I have a lot of experience with this. I, I'm, and, and not to say like, oh my God, I'm so great. I have so much experience with this. No, it's like, to me, to, to try to convey this to you or express this to you is, is uh, something like, Oh yes, I love to do that. Um, please let me know what you hear and, and what you recognize, and um, your participation in this, your presence in this, is is just as important as my experience in this, because you might have much more experience in it than you can think now, that you think of yourself now. You know, so this this isn't. Um, because we actually don't meet in a teacher-student kind of setup, but in a different way. And that is um, full participation and being fully a part of this is you determine as much what is going to happen here as I do. And um, that is by your presence this is occurring, by you wanting this and joining with me in this, and I join with you in this, we have a common purpose of healing. See, and that is like uh, inviting a lot, like a lot of uh, possibilities um, coming from out of time, coming from whole, say, the whole dimensions of life to, to assist us. So that's why Jesus is always present in the Course in Miracles and Joel's talks, and um, and see, it's it's like coming together in this um, inspiring uh, realm where literally the miracles are inspired by by your Savior. So this is what is going on. Then it's like this has everything to do with your salvation, with you recognizing you so are we getting to the to the place that you become receptive for this that you feel like oh my god 
I actually feel pretty good. I don't know how this happened or what actually is occurring, but um, it feels really good to, to be part of this. And I would love to continue with this. So I come back later. So now we're going to introduce each other to one another just to, to get to know one another. <clears throat> 